Welcome, Hades, bravest of the Puritans. Why have you returned to us so soon? Wise father, my heart is troubled with questions. Why was Eve's identity as the child of Saul kept secret from me? We of the Balor do not know why your shaman has kept this knowledge to herself. We know only the rituals of the Eternal War. We sow and nurture life, the Tipol bring the scythe. They consume and we replenish. This struggle is as the Creator wished it. As one of our mortal children, you are part of this fight. Your youthful passions are the sword and shield of the Balor. Please, return to the defense of Tamas. I have many doubts, but I will do as you ask. Hales, wait! Freya, questing spirit. You are welcome in the garden of the Bower. Thank you, blessed father. Hales, to ease your troubled heart, I believe I can shed some light on your question. As you know, the Omniverse is divided into countless dimensional lobes, each one a complete universal realm unto itself. Just how many of these realms support life? Not even the Balor can say. But wherever there is life, the spirit of a soul child may be found. This spirit moves freely from world to world within its parent realm, inhabiting body after body, life upon life, age upon age, constantly evolving. The soul child in its many incarnations affects the balance of its entire realm, directing its energies toward light or toward darkness. Whether good or evil, each child is a fragment of the soul heart, the broken essence of the creator. Only through the union of these fragmented spirits can the soul heart be made whole again. That is why we fight. But the war can never be won. Just as matter and antimatter annihilate one another, so it is with the children of soul. The presence of the two within the same dimension causes the total collapse of that dimensional lobe. All life is extinguished. The battle between the Bala and the Tapol is timeless, and as old as time itself. We cannot win, but we cannot be other than the Creator made us to be. It is given to us only to express our natures. We have no other lot. But Freya, I still do not understand why you kept Eve's identity a secret. If I'd known she was the child of Sora, I never would have allowed her to go into battle alone. The Tupal might have captured her. Noble Hades. I no longer believe that the war cannot be won. I have deciphered fragments of an ancient legend. It hints at the existence of a child of soul who is neither good nor evil. This null child creates a pocket of neutrality, a place of safety where the children of soul may gather. If I am right, the soul heart could be united at last. And you believe that? Eve? Is this Null child? I do. Preposterous. Freya, you cannot mean to test this theory of yours. Surely you remember the failures of the past. The Eidolon collapse, the Hybraxis collapse. How many lobes must we obliterate before we ourselves face oblivion? Better to simply maintain the ebb and flow of light and dark, as we always have. I disagree, wise father. I am convinced Eve is the one who will rescue us from the bloody stasis we now endure. But she is not yet ready. That is why I kept her true nature a secret from you. Hales, if the Tupor came to suspect what I have told you, that Eve is far more than an ordinary child of soul, the results can only be disastrous. Thank you, Freya. I will guard your trust, and Eve, with my life. You are so young, dear Freya. 
We admire your searching heart, but only time can bear out the truth of your words. For now, we must see to the battle for Thomas. Wise father, Leaf signals her arrival. She awaits your permission to enter. Leaf? The timing is fortuitous. I have summoned Leaf to join us here. She may be of service to you, Hades. You summoned me, wise father? Leaf! It is good to see you again. Well met, Hades. Long may the two posts suffer for what they did to your parent clan. My street riders are at your command. How soon can you assemble them for the defense of Tamos? It is being seen to even now. Wise father, I sense the Tupal are moving against Tamos in force. Already one of their colony fortresses is making planet fall on Earth. Eve, I must go at once. Leaf, join me on Earth as soon as you can. We shall bring swift justice to the two pole.